I figured we would start your day off with some fresh air in the beginning of the vlog. Look at our garbage. That's ironic that my first venture out into the world today was taking out nasty, smelly garbage. I think something's rotten in our garbage, and I didn't tell Serena. She'll see this when she watches the vlog, but um, I left coffee grounds inside the coffee maker um, the whole two and a half weeks we were gone, and it had like white stuff all over it. Does anybody know any facts about that? Can coffee grounds get moldy um, just sitting out in the dry air? But I left it inside the coffee maker. Oops, my bad. So I feel like the vlogs have changed a little bit since we've gotten back. I can tell when I'm editing. They're just a little bit not the same. Mainly because we just have more fun in Pennsylvania on the East Coast. Um, but not saying anything, but maybe one day you'll get to see the East Coast a lot more. If you know what I mean. But I can't get the freaking key out. Son of a... Oh my god. So remember what I said about that coffee, the moldy coffee grossness? I think that's having a negative effect on my body right now. Oh, The whole coffee thing that's moldy, but it was in a coffee filter. But that wouldn't affect the new coffee coming through with a new coffee filter, would it? I don't know. I feel like it's just killing me. Eight hours, actually. Doodle doom! I'm being called by... Who beckons my awesomeness. Twitter! I shall twit you a bunch. I hit 9,000 tweets um, just recently. My 9,000th tweet was on a reply back to Charles Trippy about YouTube being broken. So that's pretty awesome. So I'm back to my usual delicious diet. That of coffee. Today I just feel so sick and bleh. Today's one of those sick days. Oh. I don't know, it's, just, it's weird. I don't feel good today. I haven't, I haven't felt sick in a long time. I hope I'm not actually getting any something really bad because that would really suck. But today, like, coffee is the only thing I feel like I could, like, eat and not feel sick about. Ugh, hate that feeling. Let's see if anybody's down the crazy hallway. I hear people. I think there are people. Someone told me that that, that mirrors if there's a camera. News to me now. So I was looking for jobs, and I used Craigslist and some other sites but I was looking at Craigslist and there's like so much other stuff on here yeah there's the creepy like personals but like they actually have like discussion forums I don't know I never I go like right for jobs and I think we used to look on housing when we were looking for our apartment here but it's like crazy I seriously spent like about an hour on there just looking at stupid stuff trying to find a new like workout plan to do because I'm kind of sick of P90X and I have to start working out again tomorrow or Monday. I don't know what to do. Like, if anybody ever saw the pink method thing, that looks interesting. But I don't feel like buying it. I already have P90X. So I guess I'll probably be doing P90X again. Does anybody else have any weight lo like weight loss New Year's resolution things? I don't know. I know we asked you guys for your weight loss resolution. I mean, for your New Year's resolutions. But nobody ever wrote anything. Like, I went back and I was reading the comments. I don't think any... But he mentioned anything. Mine is to be healthier, even though we're probably gonna get yogurt land soon because I am going through withdrawals. I need some yogurt land soon, for sure. Totally should have stopped looking at Craigslist like an hour ago because I went to the animal section and they have all these free doggies and I want one. Oh, they have German Shepherd puppies. All these puppies and free dogs. I want one. People from work are slowly, slowly finding out about the YouTube channel, which is cool. I'm down with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. But to that, I say, if you're watching this and you know me personally, then you better damn well subscribe. Where's the top there? It's time for keeping my mail of the day. This was sent to us from Cindy Red Deer, no, and this is her kitty. We just spilled the... the um, um, sunflower seeds fell from myself. Are you done now? Ah, oh, the kitty! It's, it's licking its own nose. Someone must have st stuck some catnip up there or something. You think? It's a cute cat. Now it's a cute moment of the day. So, I'm, I'm all old man today. My hip was killing me a bunch. 
And two things is I don't know remember how many of you remember me always talking about my hip hurting, um, but I found out from the doctors it's like all like tense and everything there. But really, what I found out is the second thing. For people who watch How I Met Your Mother, when um, Marshall finds out that he has dancer's hip, I googled it, and what I mean, it's like snapping hip syndrome, which is what I have. My hip snap, like it, it designed, it, it was perfectly described it. Yeah. And it's what it dancers is. get from dancing, but I don't dance that much. It's how you got your dance, <laughs> it's from shaking your hip like that. That's how you got dancers. No, I got dancers hip. But they gave me exercises to stretch them out. And so if you ever, so they told me to do this, and then to, to take it and hold it all the way over there and not twist your body. But how do we not twist our body? These are like the old people exercises <laughs> that they post in the doctor's office on the wall. After I do those, after I do those awesome sexy stretches, I'm just gonna do arm circles for the rest of my life. Yeah, arm circles. You can sit in a chair and bend over and touch your toes. They don't even do that. They yes, do they it on do. a. Old people do this. They do it on a chair. Old people do this. Oh, I thought it was. Oh. Yeah, look at it. See, old people don't do that. <laughs>